Hello, this is George Frost for Timber Graphics. This tutorial will be all about saving your work inside of After Effects as a template that you can easily import into any project within just a couple of clicks. This is especially useful if you're dealing with a lot of different projects and need to quickly and efficiently add some elements into your current project. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how this is done. I've mentioned this method in one of my previous videos and let me tell you that this is a very efficient way of getting your work done because ever since I found out about this method I've been using it and every work, a project that I do, I always end up saving it as a template so in case if I need to go back to it quickly or like add the elements from that previous project into a new one I can just go ahead and do that within just as a set couple of clicks. Let's take this project as an example so if you watched my previous tutorial about how to create a burst animation this is the exact project where we created that burst so if you haven't watched that tutorial, you can go ahead and watch it or some tutorial, learn how to create different types of bursts. But now I'll teach you how to save this as a template. So first step would be to open the project tab here and here you'll have all your compositions and files and everything. So uh, whichever composition you want to save as a template, you need to select it here. So you can see that this composition is burst. And if we want to save this as a template, we select it on our project, then go to file, whoops, file, dependencies, and collect files. Here, make sure you set collect source files for selected comps, and pretty much uh, copy all the settings that you see right here. And then you can click collect, then this window will pop up, and here you'll need to specify the destination folder where you want this template to pretty much be saved. And I've got the folder like this, as you can see, I've got different templates here. And uh, here you need to specify the file name. So let's select bursts, bursts, OK, and click save. And once you do that, then you can go ahead, open that folder. And let me just quickly bring this up. So this will be the folder. And you'll see that the After Effects project file was saved here with a text file that we don't really need. You can delete it. So if we go back from this folder, you'll see that all the different, fo different folders, and this is the one that we've saved, bursts. And inside here, you'll find the actual project file. So let me show you how to quickly import this into a new project. So let's go back to After Effects. So let's go to File and Create New Project, just for demonstration purposes. Let's make it seem like you have something going on in your new project just so it's not that empty. Let me go ahead and you know, type some text. Welcome, you know, let's make this bigger. And let's add a quick BG background like that. Oops, let me just quickly add a color. So let's assume that this is our final work, final composition. And now we need to spice it up somehow, make it more interesting. So the way we would do this, we if we do have a safe template of, let's say, for example, a circle burst animations, we could quickly import them and I'll show you how this is done. So in your project uh, area space, uh, right click, go to import file. And here you need to navigate to that folder, to that destination where you saved it. So this is our folder in my case. So you can see that bursts, this is the folder we've saved. You go inside, here you see the uh, the After Effects project that was saved and you just double click this and you can see that a new folder was imported into your project space. And if you click the drop down for it, you can see the composition that said bursts. And if we drag it over to our timeline, then you can see that our burst is right here and it's import successfully and you can see that it's the appropriate size and what you can do here select the burst and duplicate it like that a couple of times i don't know six duplicates will be all right and you can see now we have a lot of elements in our composition if you and if you go ahead and scatter this around a bit and offset them in time this will have even a cooler effect and you go in further select these 
and duplicate them and offset them like that and now you can see that we have a lot of elements and this makes our work look a lot better within just well really a couple of clicks the beautiful part about this is that you're not limited to uh, just shapes or just one element at a time you can create a huge template so let's say if you wanted to save this entire project as a template what we, what you would do is you could you would this is set comp one so this is the composition we need to save so it would be to select the comp one then go to file dependencies collect files and it will ask you if you want to save your project first and let's do that specify the destination for your any projects all of my projects are here so let's just do a test uh one why not to so save it first and then this one that will pop up again make sure you select four selected comps all the settings should, will be the same pretty much then you click collect and again you specify the destination folder and here let's leave it uh, test one S click save and again this will pop up and you don't need a text document and it will be inside here uh, you can see our bursts here and now we have a test one and inside here the same logic so once again let's create a new project just to demonstrate this new project again and if we need to quickly add that previous work we again go ahead right click here import file when we find this test one folder test one import and again th this new folder will appear here and you got all of the related files from that previous work we did in here all labeled all nicely so we need our comp one so just double click the comp one and you can see that all the work is here and we don't need to do anything again okay we are saving ourselves a lot of hassle and a lot of time uh, because this is all pretty much straight just done within just a couple of clicks and you can experiment with this in so many ways you can create different templates to your liking you create different bursts into one place and really the possibilities are endless here of course i'm not going to show you everything of this tutorial i'm just showing the way and the destination is yours to so feel free to experiment and do whatever you like with this okay so i think at this point our tutorial is complete i hope you learned something new and i really hope that you enjoyed and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.